In this episode, I share a tour and plant shopping at the world's largest indoor rainforest, which is called the Eden Project. It's located in the Cornwall area of England. They took an old quarry and turned it into the largest indoor rainforest in the entire world. They had a rainforest section, a Mediterranean section, and then an amazing plant store on the way out where they had quite a few rare plants. I was shocked. So I'm really excited to share some plant shopping, but people will go there as a destination for their trip from all over the world because this place was so incredible. So I can't wait to share it with all of you. Now, if any of my family are watching this, I just wanted to say thank you so much for putting up with this crazy plant lady and tagging along with me to the Eden Project. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley. And as you can see, I am a crazy plant person and proud. I have over 200 different tropical plants here in my plant room. We also have an amazing community on Instagram that we'd love for you to be part of. Now, a huge thank you to our friends at Birch for sponsoring this episode. Now, one of the things that many of us have in common, besides being crazy plant people, is struggling with sleep. I recently switched to a Birch mattress and I absolutely love it. Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. It was important for me to choose a Birch mattress that is made with natural and organic materials because I know the mattress I'm sleeping on is made with raw materials sourced straight from nature, which are both comfortable and durable. In addition to being a better mattress for me, Birch is committed to being better for the planet. I love that throughout the creation of their mattresses, Birch ensures that their materials are produced and harvested sustainably. Now I ordered the Birch Lux mattress, a premium upgrade to their original well-loved Birch natural mattress. My husband and I have been sleeping on our new Birch mattress for quite a few months now, and I absolutely love it. I love how comfortable it is. It was also really nice to be able to order online, not have to go into a mattress store, and then it was delivered. And as you can see, it was so easy to set up. In addition to our mattress, we also ordered the Birch mattress topper. Every time I get into bed, it just feels so plush and like I'm sleeping on a pillow. Now with buying online and not purchasing in a store, I really like that with the Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. Again, the best part about it is just being able to order online and your Birch mattress is delivered right to your door for free in the US. Now each Birch mattress comes with two of their Eco Rest pillows made from recycled plastic bottles. They're breathable and better for the environment, not to mention incredibly comfortable. I love my Birch Lux mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com slash plantlife for $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. Now I am so incredibly excited to share the Eden project with you. Let me know what you think at the end of the video. I think you're gonna love it. And I also share which plant I would have picked out and brought home with me. And I'm curious to see what you guys think about that. Enjoy. So I've just walked in. It's absolutely amazing. I did not bring my camera on my trip because I did not realize that they had something like this here. This is the rainforest section and then there's a Mediterranean section. And I just noticed these beautiful, I don't know if it's pothos or it's some sort of epipremnum, but look how massive these leaves are and you can see where they're just, they've grown right up the tree. This is what we're all trying to replicate with our planks and our moss poles, but it's absolutely beautiful. And I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg when you first walk in. They have the beautiful philodendron, absolutely stunning. Um, there's some huge alocasia. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, is this Adansonii? Okay. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a good day. Oh, they have some beautiful bromeliads just hanging out. I see some orchids. Just, I think that's orchids over there. 
Anyways, I'm gonna have a little walk around, see what beautiful plants I can find today in Cornwall at the Eden Project. The Eden Project has one of the largest living displays of ethnobotanical plants in the world. Plants whose histories are intertwined with humanities. They display them in small holdings and situations that would allow them to tell the stories both of the crops and the people who grow them. There are some huge Monstera deliciosas. Lovely to see. Ooh, I just spotted these beautiful begonias. <gasps> They are stunning. Some sort of rare variety of cane begonias. And they're just thriving. You can see them. They look really beautiful mixed in with the ferns. And then there's some colocasia here. You can see the big, beautiful elephant ear leaves. And look how tall this roof is. It's incredible. This is the largest snow bush I've ever seen. Look, we see little tiny ones of these in the store. We might even see a small sized tree, but they actually have some gorgeous large snow bush. And I love that they actually have where the plant is from. This one's from the Pacific Islands. These alocasia are so massive that they have developed trunks. Look at that. You can see that they're just growing straight out of the water. They have autograph plants. You see these a lot in Florida. Very tropical plants. I think these are some type of orchid. Maybe not, maybe a lily. I'm not sure on that one, but look at this huge, huge bird of paradise. It's beautiful. So I wasn't sure what type of plant this one is. It says sea trumpet, but I don't know. Uh, but I did notice up there, they have some really beautiful variegated leaves, but they're out of, you know, reach. Uh, but look at this massive, massive alocasia leaf. It's incredible. Many of their plants are grown from seed in their nursery, while some come from botanical gardens, research stations, and supporters, mostly in Europe and the UK. Now, some of their plants are insect pollinated, some are wind pollinated, and some are paintbrush pollinated. They have some big aluminum plants, you fern everywhere. I've never seen aluminum plants or pileas just kind of hanging out. I was just taking a peek over here and I saw the ginger, but I saw this pothos. I believe it's a pothos. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? I know it's some type of epipremnum, but these plants, I mean, they're honestly some of my favorite when they get like this. And you can see that they're climbing up over there as well. Some sort of interesting philodendron. I don't know which variety it is, um, but all the leaves have this similar shape to it. And I just thought that was really cool if you see them kind of blended in and that's the way it is here. Everything is just growing together. So it's just carefully looking through and seeing all the different species of plants that they have. Here's another philodendron. And I don't know again what variety. There's some unusual ones here. This one has the red stems and a little bit of um, reddish color on the back sides of the leaves. If you know what variety this is, definitely let me know. They have some Aglionema varieties in there. 
And one of my favorite things to do when I come somewhere like this uh, is to look at the tree trunks and see what type of plants are climbing up them. Their integrated pest management system uses cultural methods, removal of infested plant parts, soft chemicals, soaps and oils, and biological control, bugs that eat bugs. Their lizards, Sulawesi white-eyed songbirds, rule rule partridges, and white tree frogs are also part pest agents. I just spotted one of these bat flower plants. Isn't that amazing? So the flowers look like little bats. And they're in bloom, which is even more special. I think I spotted a little ZZ just kind of hanging out in there. Absolutely massive fiddle. Fiddly fig. Look at that. The biome's temperatures are controlled automatically. The main heating source is the sun. The back walls act as heat banks, releasing heat at night. Triple glazed windows provide insulation, while air handling units cool on hot days and heat on cool ones. Soon their geothermal plant will be providing heat for the biomes, part of their journey to net zero. This view is incredible. I'm a little weird about heights, so I'm just gonna kinda slowly peek. I mean, look how absolutely massive this place is. And they even have a little platform up there. Beautiful. And I'm going to walk across there, which again, I'm not the best with heights, so I'll see how that goes. Yeah, I decided against that, and I'm going this route instead. <laughs> oh, I guess I still, oh gosh. Uh... Okay, figure it out. I'm super not in. <laughs> Find me. I've spotted some squammy philodendron. I think it's philodendron squammy. You can see the fuzzy stems, although these stems are red. So maybe you guys can tell me what you think. They look like squamies to me. I wonder what these are. They're fenestrating on the inside, maybe some sort of, I don't know. You can see that they're all the way down and they're just getting one fenestration each leaf. You can see the ants doing their job. Ooh, here we have another philodendron. Look how beautiful these leaves are. Wow, you can see it goes all the way up there. Some more of this variety. I wonder what this is. Kind of fuzzy, interesting. The rainforest biome is home to four of the world's rainforests, featuring plants and stories from Southeast Asia, West Africa, Southern and Central America, and the tropical islands. The biome also houses over 1,000 different species of plants and cultivars. They have some nice syngonium here. Look at these, first syngonium I've seen. Really beautiful. Oh, they have partly philodendrons all along here. Look at these syngonium. Literally the biggest syngonium leaves I have ever seen. I think I'm in the Costa Rica section and this is having a lot more of the plants that we typically see. Lots of philodendron, syngonium. Um, we'll see if I stumble across some anthurium. I'm seeing a lot of bromeliads. I mean, this is just all philodendrons here. How beautiful it is here. All right, my first anthurium spotting. Look how beautiful that is. The bird's nest anthurium there. Oh, look. 
just a little guy hanging out. Look what kind this is. Calathea Zebrinas. Okay. I have found my section. Look how amazing these plants are. They have Tradescantia Nanook. They have um, Hylia Moon Valley Friendship Plant. They have all sorts of Calatheas, but these begonias are just absolutely stunning. Look, they have the stingray allocations. Absolutely beautiful Rex begonias. Pylea peperomioides. Escargo begonias. Staghorn ferns. Oh, look at these staghorns that they have. Just kind of growing up the side here. Kind of hidden in here, I see some anthurium. This may be a crystallinum. Not sure which one exactly. But it's nice to see an anthurium. I haven't seen very many of them since I've been here. I still have the Mediterranean section to go to. Uh, look, they have all sorts of orchids. They have some Scindapsis and Ripsalis up there. Bromeliad. like a euphorbia of some sort maybe euphorbia snowflake as you can see it has like the white on there and then there's another cute little euphorbia hiding behind a string of sausages senecio look at these little cacti guys those are so cool so we only ever see this one when it's really small but look how massive this fan aloe grows The Mediterranean Bio also houses over 1,000 different species and cultivars of plants. In the Mediterranean Biome, you can meander through the Mediterranean Basin and the landscapes of California, South Africa, and Western Australia. In contrast to the humid tropics experienced in the rainforest biome, these Mediterranean-type climates in the world's warm temperature zones have hot, dry summers and cool, wet winters. So they have a whole little plant shop uh, kind of on the way out and they have some really great plants. They have some beautiful philodendron black cardinals here, 1225. They have some pitcher plants, uh, anthurium, the anthurium are 1026. They have Mona Lisa lipstick plants. Uh, I don't see a price on that. They have some really pretty anthurium, those are 10. They have crotons. I see a little ZZ plant back there. I was so surprised to see all the beautiful plants that they have, actually. They have uh, watermelon peperomias. Um, they have some different begonias. They have, this says begonia rex mixed tray. It looks like a begonia amphioxus here. This one for four. They also have a maculata, and they have this pink one, which I'm obsessed with, but I can't take it home with me. But I saw these in the, um, it doesn't say what variety it is, but I saw these in the, in the shop, and I think the bigger they get, the more pink they get on the leaves, and it's so beautiful. They have a little begonia rex. These are all $4.95. They have maculata, they have, um, some calatheas here, some more of the begonias. The Adansonii are 550. They have philodendron adam and some parlor palms. They have these really cute little peperomia hopes, 425. They have, look at this, um, plumosa asparagus fern. So beautiful. Some cute little string of here. Let's see what else. Oh, they have some uh, rubber trees over here. They have a big money tree, 28. They have a Cocodema bromeliad. Oh, it's a, it's in a little Cocodema kind of planter. Looks like a pineapple plant. And they have so many more, like 
let me show you. They have uh, Tradescantia varieties. Tradescantia are only $3.25. They also have the really beautiful um, escargot begonias. I believe these are, okay, they're papaya, these over here. They have peppers. Um, this is called a lipstick tree, very cool. Uh, mimosa pudica. So um, they have black pepper, which is a piper variety. I did not realize that. Gosh, look at all the like cacti over there. Okay, real quick. Um, a string of dolphins, really cool to see. Spider plants, aloe, uh, pilea peperomioides. And look at this neat uh, banana variety. Let's see what species this is. Water banana. Fascinating. Okay. You guys know I love some cacti. I can't believe they have them here. Okay, it looks like some uh, very crack. cactus euphorbias, 28 snake plants. Look at this cool one, it's 13. Oh, they even have a whale fin. How much is this whale fin? $14.50 for this beautiful whale fin. I can't believe they have that here. Ooh. Oh, they have little lithops as well. The litho lithops are $2.95. Look how cute they are. These are fascinating. Sausage spurge. Okay. These are nice. I, you know, if I was getting one, I'd get this plant. Whatever type of snake plant that is, I would totally get one. <laughs> Look how hairy these little guys are. Ooh. Neon pothos, rubber trees, coffee plants. Here's some more rubber tree. Oh, look, you can see this little lime. It has a lime on it. Look at this beautiful peperomia. And they have calathea. Some more philodendron black cardinal, some more begonia maculata, tradescantia. Some really nice adansonii, um, uh, pineapples, some interesting fern varieties. Look at this, I guess that's a staghorn fern. What is this one? Jasmine, jasmine plants. Ooh, look, is this, um, oh, it's a Tillandsia. Absolutely beautiful. They have all of these gorgeous planters and gardening accessories. I do. Show me your favorite one. If I was gonna buy a plant today, if I was gonna buy a plant, this is the one I'd buy today. What do you think? I love it. You do? I don't know what it is. It's not. <laughs> it's weird. It's right? weird. All right, I'm so curious, what do you guys think? It looks great on camera, but it honestly like doesn't do it justice. In person, it was just bananas. Not to mention all the beautiful outdoor gardens that they had as well as the humongous indoor gardens. And the fact that they had a plant shop on my way out was entirely unexpected. So as you saw, the plant I would have picked out was that beautiful snake plant. I think it's a Kirky Eye Silver Blue, which is a rare snake plant. And they just like had them casually like sitting there ready to go for, I think it was like 15 pounds or something like that. I couldn't believe it. Now a huge thank you again to Birch Living for partnering with me on this episode.
If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com slash plantlife for $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye. Thank you.